Hi, I'm Gino Chiapetta, spine surgeon with University Orthopedic Associates. And I'm Matthew McDonald, a spine surgeon with University Orthopedic Associates. So Dr. McDonald, I would like to talk to you about lumbar disc herniations, which are herniated discs in the lower back of the spine that can cause nerve compression and sciatica type symptoms, typically with pain starting in the back and shooting down into the buttock or leg. So Dr. McDonald, what is your uh, take on lumbar disc herniations and how do patients typically do when they have a herniated disc? Yeah, so um, while patients initially come in in, a, in, a, in a, a pretty rough spot, you know, the symptoms from it can be you know, quite debilitating in terms of the back pain and sciatica pain that they get to the leg. First thing I always try to do is reassure a patient because, you know, that for the most part, patients are going to get better from this condition. Uh, a fair amount of patients will get better with conservative treatment, time, physical therapy, injections. But for those who don't, uh, a surgical operation called a microdiscectomy or a, a laminotomy discectomy is a great operation uh, for these patients and uh, patients do really, really well. I'd agree with that. I think uh, microdiscectomy surgery for herniated discs in the lower back can be one of the most rewarding, gratifying surgeries for a number of reasons. It is a very small surgery in terms of spine surgery, done through a very small incision. The surgeries take about 30 to 45 minutes in length. Um, the vast majority of patients go home the same day with minimal pain after surgery. If you look at the results of surgery, on average patients have 90 to 95% relief of their pain that they were complaining of prior to surgery, and most of the success is immediate when they wake up from surgery. What exactly do you do in the surgery? Do you take out the whole disc? Do you take out, yeah, do you have that's to put a great metal question. in or anything? Right. What, what exactly do you perform in the surgery? So, so really, you know, the surgery is done through a small incision. All we do is we create a little opening in the spinal canal. We find the herniated disc fragment that's squirted out, squirted out, and we get the pressure off the nerve. And then we close the patient up and let them recover for a couple hours in recovery and go home. We don't fuse the spine. We don't do anything to structurally alter the spine or destabilize the spine. Um, so um, there are no really significant long-term risks of implications of, of having this procedure. What would you say about the recovery of these types of surgeries? I know patients are always concerned about when they can yeah. drive, when they get back to work. Sure. So what kind of factors do you sure. typically discuss with patients regarding return to life after surgery? Well, first I would agree with everything you said, and it's probably one of the most rewarding surgeries we do as spine surgeons, because patients wake up and they're dramatically better than they were before they went to sleep in terms of relief of pain. Um, it is a same day surgery. Um, the recovery can vary a little bit depending on you know what, what you do for a living. Very commonly patients are back to work after about two weeks or so. You know they go home the same day, they spend a week or two relative rest not doing anything too strenuous. Most patients are back to work uh, at two weeks if they don't have a, a job that involves too much manual labor. Uh, people who do more intense labor sometimes need you know four weeks, six weeks before they're back to work. But it's a pretty quick return to you know normal life. You know people are usually driving after a week or so. They're off their pain medications anywhere from a few days to a week. Um, so it's a, you know, in, in terms of comparing it to other things that we do in, in our field as spine surgeons, recoveries from discectomies are probably you know, the, the, the quickest. So we would encourage you if you've been diagnosed with a lumbar disc herniation and you're not improving, uh, that you, sh you should come in and have, uh, have a conversation and a consultation with us. We could go over your MRI with you, talk to you about the surgeon in a little bit more detail, um, and hopefully help make you feel better. And again, coming into the office doesn't always commit yourself to having surgery, but it certainly will give you um, the education you need and possibly some other options um, for those patients who, who may be able to avoid surgery.